Hello, what is going on YouTube and friends? Uh, so I'm finally back. Um, I'm testing out a new camera and uh, it is a Sony camera. I'm pretty sure you guys know what it is already. Uh, it just came out. Um, I was fortunate enough to get my hands on one because uh, one of my local camera stores had it. Uh, but as you may know, this is gonna be the Sony ZV-1. So I'm still trying to get used to looking at the lens instead of the screen, which is right there because they finally put a flip out screen. I can't believe they did that, but uh, it took them long enough, but it is on. So this is basically uh, gonna be a first impressions and what I think about this camera. Um, I do currently own two RX100s. Uh, one is a Mark III and the other one's a Mark V or a VA. So it is a five, but they're updated versions. Um, so far, uh, this camera seems to be pretty good. So uh, I'm gonna take a walk around with it right now. So I am in uh, 1080p and it is 24 frames a second right now. So I got my shutter speed at uh, 150th and I got my ISO. It is at, that's auto, but I set it from 125 uh, to 6400. So uh, I never do completely auto on cameras because I like to have a little bit of control so instead I go shutter priority just so I can control that shutter speed and I can put it uh, basically double whatever my frame rate is which is kind of the rule of thumb of uh, I guess how people film but this is the video um, so basically I do have active stabilization on uh, so it's not just steady shot on it's active so this is um, how cropped my faces I know a lot of people was kind of you know they were talking about how close it is I have long arms um, I am holding it on a Manfrotto pixie so uh, I do have a little bit more reach but it's not as cropped in as uh, some other people uh, think it is I guess maybe if you have a bit of shorter arms it could look like this so if I held it a little closer um, but once I stretch my arm far it looks pretty normal um, but yeah so so far so good uh, what else can we talk about here uh, in terms of the audio I am NOT using the onboard audio on the camera um, I am actually using an older Rode VideoMic Pro and um, it's the one before the Pro Plus um, I wish I had a Rode VideoMic NTG those are really nice but uh, in terms of audio, yeah, I'm on a Rode VideoMic Pro. Um, I have the dead cat on it, so you probably don't hear too much wind. It is actually really windy out here right now. Um, in terms of the audio settings, I have it on the camera itself on six or seven. And then the Rode VideoMic Pro, I have it on plus 20 dB gain. So hopefully it sounds okay, but that's kind of the beauty of this camera. Um, it lets you plug whatever audio source you want into it. So, so far so good. I'm also fortunate enough, um, I don't know how battery life on this thing is yet, but I do have a lot of those Sony batteries that this uses. So hopefully this is better because it's newer software, but so far the eye tracking is working phenomenal. It is going from this eye to this eye. And then I think if it can't catch my eye, it'll do my entire face. Uh, my girlfriend's just, I don't know what she's doing, but I think she's just kind of walking around right now. Don't know how that looks, but we have some weird weather here in Vancouver though. So basically there's sunlight on that side and then there's like rain clouds on that side. So I'm pretty sure it's going to rain pretty soon. So I wanted to basically get out and do a first impressions and, um, you know, see how video quality is. And again, this is shot at 1080p, not 4K right now. Um, I'll do the 4K one later. Um, I want to compare it to basically my RX100s. And uh, I kind of like this camera because, well, it's a lot lighter to carry than a Sony a7 III with the G Master lens on. Because I know that one, my arm would get tired pretty quickly. So um, I'm definitely happy about kind of like the compact design of this. So absolutely, I will be right back. Two seconds. Okay, this is some more walking footage. 
Um, again, this is 1080p with active stabilization. So hopefully it looks pretty steady. It is tracking my eye. I don't know if I'll go to our face. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. So, so far so good. She could still do dips. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. She could still do dips. Um, yeah, so we just walked up to Renfrew School. Uh, again, those clouds are chasing us. Looks so crappy there, but looks really good there. So, kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, so far, the camera. Um, so far, so good still. Um, I still haven't. Uh, taken one bar of battery off yet so again like it could be different like I think if I do 4k it may take a lot more battery I did put the setting on high heat so just in case um, but I don't think it's gonna go overheat or anything because well a I'm shooting at 1080p and it's not even that hot here in Vancouver it's actually quite uh, cool so I understand if it's summer and it's like a 32 degree uh, 32 degree day out so Another thing I want to try, I want to mount this on my car windshield with my uh, windshield mount and see how it goes and feel myself maybe driving around. I don't know. I don't know if I could still do dips. Let's see. Ooh, he can still do them. Nice. Oh. All right. We're going to see if Jane can do a pull up. That's a... Uh, I don't even know if I could do pull-ups anymore. I should be able to, but I don't know. Let's see if she can do it. Try it. <laughs> no, not quite. Not quite yet. All right. Now we are at the basketball courts. This is my old elementary school. Um, I guess school was back in session for a little because I see that they've marked the floor with uh, pink pink tape I guess just social distance and everything so but uh, yeah we're just walking before the rain comes kind of sad because everything that I grew up with here like we used to have um, a restaurant it's kind of like a Chinese restaurant called Golden Oscars and they had like a Chong Lei market beside it and then across from there we had a 7-eleven and we also had an ET bubble tea place um, I used to hang out there quite a bit and then they got torn down because, well, I guess they're gonna be putting apartments there, but yeah, they just look like big construction sites now. All right, so walking down Rupert Street and holy, where did Jane go? I'm so short. <laughs> Such a midget. Hey, I'm 4'11". <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. Okay, you guys have seen a lot of walking footage. I'm gonna see how stable this thing is if I jog. Let's see. They don't get hit by a car. Anyways, we lucked out. Um, it did not rain. Uh, if anything, like I think it's just overcast and then there's a lot of, it's actually sun poking out again now. Um, but back to Fallet's Park, uh, it's pretty nice here, so I think we're just gonna walk around for a little more and then head home. So one thing I'm gonna definitely try and do is like maybe uh, post more videos from now on. I haven't really like posted a video on my channel in a long time, and uh, I guess that was just due to like laziness, work, and you know, I was one an excuse to like, you know, get new gear and you know, when I already had like an RX100, I had, you know, an A7 III, like there was no excuse not to kind of post content. Like realistically, if I wanted to, I could make content. Like I could have used my phone, if anything. Everybody carries a phone now and they're more than adequate for making any kind of vlog. So um, that and well, and you know, unfortunately COVID-19 happened. And um, basically when that happened, me, I got laid off at my work. I'm, I'm in the automotive industry. A lot of uh, my colleagues got laid off too. 
uh, and a lot of like my friends that worked in other you know dealerships they got laid off and it's been it's been a really quiet uh, three months so I haven't done much like I've just been going out for walks and stuff and um, really just been staying at home and today was actually the first day I went out to get a haircut at my uh, hair salon because they're back open uh, but before that I had to get Jane cut my hair uh, basically twice because it got so long but um, I think things are slowly starting to get back to normal I have a feeling we might all be going back to work soon I don't know how soon but soon um, and you know hopefully hopefully we get to go out and you know we don't waste the entire summer because I've just been kind of at home haven't been able to like do really any summer activities I wanted to do so um, one thing I really want to do is, is get out and like ride my motorcycles because I, I miss them they've just been cooped up at home and doing nothing so hopefully we get to do that soon uh, but still oh man this view is just nutty hopefully it doesn't like darken out from the trees or anything but it's really nice here a lot of people chilling here too so yeah but uh yeah that's kind of like a little vlog i think i think i'll be bringing this camera with me to a lot of places now so this is probably going to be my main go-to vlog camera um one thing i also wanted to do was because i wanted to start riding again um i need to get a new helmet mine's a little old uh, i want to get another helmet and then get probably a gopro and mount it on and i want to start moto vlogging i had some old footage I, I never posted it i had an old gopro and stuff but yeah i don't know that's another thing on my to-do list but all this you know maybe when i get back to work because i don't really want to be buying things that i don't need to buy uh, at this point in time so so overall i can't wait to see the video footage on this camera um, again i'm only filming at 1080p so um, I should be doing 4k because it you know this thing can do 4k and I bet you know it looks really nice but that's probably for a next video I want to keep 1080p just so I'm not like destroying my hard drives with like huge file sizes um, but it's see. <laughs> super bright right now <laughs> <Let's see>. <laughs> yeah <laughs> But um, yeah, so far, I think the autofocus on this thing is really good. The audio quality is definitely gonna be really good because, well, you can put whatever mic you want on there, which is a huge, huge uh, upgrade for my RX100. Um, that's a great camera. The only thing is, I wish I had better internal mics because if you're at a public place and it's really noisy, I'll pick up more of that sound than your own voice, so. Um, so far the battery life, it looks like it's been better than my RX100 uh, as well. Uh, in terms of size and packaging, mm, they're, about, they're about the same size. Weight, I'd say they're pretty similar too. The only thing is the RX100, I think it feels more premium because the body is kind of, I, I don't know if it's like magnesium or some sort of alloy. So, whereas this one's like more of a composite material. Um, this camera, it uh, bonus for it, it comes with a grip. So it comes with a plastic grip, whereas the RX100, you had to buy the grip from Sony. It was a Sony part, so I guess another way for them to make additional money, I guess. I don't know. But one thing that this didn't come with, and I was kind of shocked, was both my RX100s came with a lanyard. Um, so this little string. Uh, so it's still focused on my face. Holy crap. But anyways, it came with a lanyard, whereas this one, it, it didn't come with a lanyard, but there's there's a lanyard basically hole on it. So I'm just going to use the lanyard from my Mark III that I put on there. So um, the only thing I'm waiting for is if Sony will come out with a screen protector, I will buy one and put it on. Um, I'm just very OCD about the things I own so that goes for you know my motorcycles my tools I like to keep them in really good shape and I don't really like seeing scratches on anything um, but if they come out with that I'm gonna buy that and what else can I say about this camera so far yeah everything's really good I have it on shutter priority again so 
Um, autofocus is kind of uh, that zone focusing in the middle. And um, nope, I didn't mess with the colors. So there's no picture profile on this. This is kind of like out of the box, what it looks like. So I heard that uh, this has a new color profile on it. It's supposed to make your skin tones nicer. I also don't have that soft skin effect on. I think that's more for like women and beauty reviews and stuff because uh, apparently it helps with like, I don't know if it helps with acne or something or like just, you know, if you have dry skin, but it, it covers it up, but I, I turn it off. I, I don't care. I have horrible skin, so. Um, but yeah, again, like can't wait to see this footage on my computer and um, yeah, this is kind of like a first impressions video of this camera and again like hopefully you know um like in terms of crop i i don't mind the distance i like this um again i have longer arms than usual so i think it's okay for me but if if you have a shorter arm and you think that the picture's too close once the active stability is on you can always buy um, a tripod with an extendable you know a telescoping tripod so i think I was on YouTube and Jason Vong, uh, the, the YouTuber, he, he recommended one. Um, so that one looked pretty cool, but I can get away with the Manfrotto Pixie. I have no problem with that. So, but hopefully these colors look kind of natural and vibrant. This is golden hour at Valley's Park. So it's sundown. And again, I'm not gonna grade any of this. I'm just gonna let the camera meter everything. So cameras on multi-metering, um, shutter priority. She goes back to work, I think on Monday. Yep, Monday. So she's lucky. She's been working at home for the past, uh, how long? Since March 16th. Oh, okay. So almost three months, yeah. Nice. So we're doing a rotating schedule and so I'll get every other week to work at home and then every other week I'll be in the office. It's kind of crazy, but, I mean, what can you do, right? Yeah. I kind of uh, like working from home, though. It's quite nice. So she goes back to work. I think I'm going to be driving her, so... Um, I, I think I'm going to be driving her. Because, <laughs> I, because I'm so busy. No, oh, I'm really? kidding. Yeah, no, I, I'm laid off. I haven't, I haven't <laughs> been to work in like three and a bit months. I feel like a bit of a bum. Um, but at the same time, I think, I think it was a nice, relaxing time off. Help me get rid of my health anxiety and stuff. I'll tell you what I got next time. Um, and then, uh, other than that, yeah, it's, I don't know, it's just been kind of boring. But like like I said, I think the way I viewed it was like, um, it felt like I was in school again. So high school and elementary, I felt like, you know, the two months of summer holidays, that's exactly what it felt like. So, and it was the only thing that was weird was just if, if I went out to get groceries or I drove out somewhere, that in the beginning of this pandemic there were like no cars it looked like like literally like a zombie apocalypse in some places so but it was, it was nice like to and from to his place which is about a half hour drive usually on a saturday it'd be 45 minutes and i get to him in 25 so that's always really nice um but it's changing there's more traffic kind of sucks but you know yeah Maybe it's time to get the motorcycles out. <laughs> and that being said, um, one of my uncles just got one. So I'm pretty happy for him. I think it's something that he, he wanted. Uh, and I can't wait to, to ride with him. I know one time, I think he borrowed one of his brother's bikes and I went for a, a nice kind of relaxing ride with him just to Steveston. And we had like Starbucks and it was, it was nice. Yeah, yeah, that was a nice day. Yeah. We got to sit outside and um, I miss that. I miss, I miss getting together randomly and just hugging people. I miss that a lot. I don't think I'm going to be hugging people for a while. Yeah, I think, yeah. I can't wait though. If this weather continues, like, I really want to put a GoPro on my helmet. And then you guys can come ride with me and I can tell some random ass stories while I'm riding. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, one bike will be easier for me to talk than the other because one bike's loud and one bike's quiet. One's a GSXR and one's a Concourse, which is completely stock. That thing's so quiet. So 
Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna head back to my house and I think I recorded quite a bit of footage of this and I think I think it did pretty good. So, I so. just gotta post it, post it, post it, post it. Yeah, I'll post it, <laughs> I'll post it. All right guys, um, I will talk to you guys soon and hopefully next time I film, I get to go to Central Park, but so far, I really like this camera. And you know what? If you can buy it and you can get your hands on it, I say try it out. It's really good, like it's cheaper than an RX. Uh, the only thing that's gonna be hard right now is um, I think they're gonna be hard to get because, well, most camera stores, like once they get a batch of them, I think they sell out quite quickly. Um, but I think definitely if, if you're into like videos, like if you're into video over photography, I'm not saying this can't do photography, get this if you're into video. If you're into like more photography and videos you're secondary, maybe go with the RX100. They are a little more pricey and I know for a compact point and shoot, they're just pricey in general. But um, yeah, if, if you're thinking about this camera um, and you wanna vlog and stuff, I'd say, I'd say try it out, you know? And I think it's, I think it's a good beginner's camera. So, all right, all right guys, peace.